What's going on guys? It's your guy Darren. I'm the Bull Tie Fragrance Guy. On this channel we talk about looking good and smelling great. So if you love to look good and smell great as well, then this may be the right channel for you. You'll probably enjoy this content. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click on the bell icon as well. That way you get notified every time I release a new video. On today guys, I want to shed some light on two lesser known fragrance houses. We're going to talk about the house of sweet Oft, which is a swedish uh, niche perfume house i want to mention two new newer scents from that house that i want to discuss and also two fragrances from the house of dossier or dossier parfums uh, we're going to talk about two i think of their more popular scents i want to tell you guys a little bit more about these two houses again uh, not as mainstream as some of the other niche houses out here like creed or Amboise, but nonetheless some great quality fragrances. So if you want to know a little bit more about these two lesser known fragrance houses, you know the routine, keep it locked right here. All right, guys, I'm back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. First, I want to talk a little bit about the two fragrances I have from Sweet Off. Now, I've done a review before where I talked about a few fragrances from this house, and I want to talk about which I think are, from what I put my nose on, two of their best offerings. Uh, there were a few in the first uh, round of fragrances that I discussed that I really enjoyed, but these two really, really stand out. And I'm talking about this one. It's called Black Rose. And this one, X Oud. And I will tell you now, X Oud is probably the best fragrance I put my nose on of all the other fragrances that they have to offer. And I'll tell you a little bit about each one. And we'll start with Black Rose. As always, these fragrances come with a card. Um, tells you what the fragrance is, a little bit more like the, some numbers on the formula and things of that nature, that, uh, what goes into making the scent. So let's talk for a quick minute about Black Rose. 30 milliliter bottles that I have. Again, this one's called Black Rose. So let's spray it on, spray it on a, so let's spray this on a test strip and see what we get. Nice, fresh rose. It's nice and fresh. I think there's chamomile in here, so it kind of gives it a very soothing vibe. So it's like, a nice soft rose scent with a nice incense on the base. This stuff is really good, man. Doesn't smell exactly like it, but it will kind of put you in the mindset of New York Oud from Bond number nine. Not exactly the same, a little more incense vibe in this, but the, the rose in it reminds me of that. Which is very, very nice. Black Rose from Sweet Off. I like that one. And I'm telling you guys again, the star is this X Oud. Now I'm going to tell you right now, it has a lot of notes uh, that are also in Creed Aventus, but it smells absolutely nothing like Creed Aventus. This one again is called X Oud. Oh man, this is so good though. It's, it's fresh and fruity. You do have pineapple. Uh, you have apple as well. But again, it reminds me nothing of Aventus. Surprisingly, it has black currant as well. And usually when you hear those combination of notes, that's the first thing folks think about. But this smells nothing like Aventus to me. So again, nice fruity accord from the black currant, the apple, and the pineapple. But of course, this is really about the oud in this scent. It has oud, it has leather. So you get a really nice Oud leather dry down with a nice kind of fruity uh, opening in this scent. Again, for me, of all the scents I put my nose on from this house, this is the star play. I'm gonna get a bigger bottle of this one. It's called X Oud. I wanna talk to you about a house called Dossier Parfums or Dossier Perfumes. And uh, this gentleman and I, Michael, have uh, been communicating for a while and I finally got a chance to get my hands on two of other more popular fragrances from this <clears throat> house. Now they do 
pretty much do clone, they clone fragrances and they make no uh, bones about that. That's what they do. Uh, these fragrances are inspired by other more popular scents. The price point on these fragrances are $29. Uh, they do have a few that now go for the $39 price point. And I think it's the one that I actually have here. This first one is called the Oriental Woody. And this is reminiscent of Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Now, these are EDP concentrated fragrances. I will say that. So this is what the bottle looks like. You guys can see that, hopefully. Now, the notes are written on the bottle. So we have rosewood, cardamom, Chinese pepper, oud, sandalwood, vetiver, tonka bean, vanilla, and amber. And of course, I'm not gonna go into detail about this, but it does smell very close to Tom Ford's Oud Wood, especially for that first hour. Um, after the first hour, this goes in a little bit more of a sweeter direction uh, with that tonka bean and vanilla dry down. I have worn these on my skin. But again, for the price of $29, if you are a fan of Oud Wood, then I'm very confident that you're going to enjoy this scent as well. But again, if you're a fan of Tom Ford's Oud Wood, I am pretty sure you're going to enjoy this scent. But of course, but of course, you are getting it for a fraction of the cost. This is a 1.7 ounce bottle and you'll get this size bottle for $29. Now what I love about this um, fragrance house is the fact that you can return these fragrances after, uh, if it hasn't been 30 days yet. If you don't like it for some reason, you spray it, you can not happen to like it, you can return it for a full refund. But again, guys, this is a very high quality fragrance, EDP concentration, and you are getting this for only 29 bucks. So at that price point, I think it is a great value. Again, that first hour, very reminiscent of Oud Wood. Has a little bit sweeter dry down on this, but again, I do enjoy it, especially at that price point. As I said, again, I have worn the scent, and I get about six and a half hours of total longevity. So again, for the price of 29 bucks, if you like Oud Wood, I'm pretty sure this is one you probably wanna put your nose on. This is the Oriental Woody, number five. Now the next fragrance that I want to talk about, this one is called the Fresh Woody Number no. 5. And this is the, of course, you know it, the event is clone. This one now goes for $39 and I think they've changed the name. I think it's called the Oak Moss Woody, if I'm not mistaken. But they've changed the name on this one recently, I've seen on the website. And again, this one goes for $39 for the 1.7 ounce. And guys, I'm telling you, again, very, very nice event is clone. It really... Reminds me a lot of Mont Blanc Explorer. If you smell that one, it smells almost exactly like Mont Blanc Explorer. So you can tell it definitely was inspired by Aventus. The notes in this one, apple, berries, pineapple, bergamot. Middle notes, rose, birch, patchouli, and jasmine. And then of course the base, base notes are musk, oak moss, and vanilla. Again, very similar note breakdown to what you have in Creta Aventus. Again, a EDP concentration. I get it that six and a half hours of performance. But this one is even closer to Aventus than the previous fragrance is to uh, Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Again, guys, amazing value, in my humble opinion, for what you get. A 1.7 ounce bottle for 39 bucks that smells as close to Aventus as this does. So if you're a fan of the Aventus DNA, you will probably love this scent. I'm going to link these fragrances down in the description in case you guys want to check it out. Now he did send me uh, five mil samples of each of these scents. So what I'm gonna do is just comment down below what you liked about the video. And I'm gonna give away a five mil sample of each of these fragrances to a lucky winner. I will keep it open for a week. I will choose a randomly two uh, winners from the comments. And I will let you know, of course, at that time who the winners are. And I will ship out a five mil decant of each of these fragrances to the winner. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video as I shed a little bit of light on some lesser known fragrance houses. I always appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these videos because, of course, you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're right here with me, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, guys, don't forget to take the time to like, comment, and subscribe. Share these videos out to folks that you think could use this information or find me entertaining because I'm your main man, Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and, of course, I love to smell Amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.